Welcome to the cafe for another mark making video. So this is number two in this series and today we're going to be covering uh, mark making on stenciled designs and I really love to do this style of mark making. It's a little off the beaten path of what we normally think of as mark making but uh, I really like it because it gives you an opportunity to take a stenciled design either your own or someone else's and and really customize it to your own taste and your own style and this is another great technique that once again you can do this in bed you can travel with this technique which I really love any kind of art form I can find to do in bed that brings me joy is something I love to do at night before I go to sleep it's just one of my quirky little habits that I have and you know if you're waiting for doctor's appointments or you're waiting for your kids to get out of school you can sit in the car and real quick draw one of these up and just keep adding to your collage stash or your art stash for whatever you want to do these for so we're today I'm just using some basic pens I've got some colored pens here and of course I'm very big on use what you've got there's no reason to go out and buy fancy equipment or materials or supplies for this um, here's some colored pens I've had for a very long time and they work really great I'm going to show you a sample of these and then of course I've got my uh, uniball signo white gel pen these are my favorite talk about that all the time and then I've just got a basic plain old ballpoint pen today now you can use sharpies I'm not using these today but I do have them handy you can use your microns whatever you want you want a fine line pen for this little technique here and I wanted to show you let me bring you in and clear the mess I want to show you a few samples of this style and then we'll go ahead and do a couple real quick too these are a couple little flowers I stenciled and I love this real scribbly look on these flowers and then this one I used the white gel pen and then on the inside since there was a lot of light stenciling I went ahead and used my black ballpoint pin on these petals but this scribbly look is gorgeous to me I love it on top I really love the white on top of the dark petals that to me is much more interesting than the dark on top of light petals but you have so many options now to get really get the scribbled look I love to go over the petals two or three times I really like to do two for sure minimum and always uh, try to stay away from following the line of the petal exactly so I think it adds a lot of interest it's a very different look it's a very different style it's less uniform it's really loose and free which is what I love about it so one more thing about this there is a lot of gold on this sheet here these are some of my coffee stained index cards with gold and white spattered paint on them very easy to create but um, word to the wise and you've probably ran into this a bunch already um, my gel pins do not do great on top of metallic paint sometimes they just don't want to work depending on the surface so there is that every now and then now this is a design by Donna Downey and I love this little stencil design here and I just went ahead and did a bunch of little different mark making on this all over I really love dots and lines and then I love the scribbled lines like right here and this stencil just affords a lot of creative freedom 
for mark making and you know you want to pick stencils that have big enough areas that you can put your marks in but yet have the contrast of the painted stencil underneath it so some stencils are really tight and it still works and it's still beautiful but it has less of an impact you know what I mean so you can go subtle you can go bold just whatever you're after the look that you're after now this is the one I just did in that stencil like a pro video with the shadowing on the stencil and I show how to do this in that video so if you haven't caught that one I'll go ahead and leave it in the description box below for you and you can just click on over it's a 10 minute video showing how to stencil like a pro I used to stencil I used to have a faux finishing business and I did a lot of uh, borders and um, mural elements and things like that for people's homes so I did a lot of stenciling on walls and it's just a very quick tutorial on how to stencil like a pro it's very self-explanatory but uh, I go over all these in that one so here's this little design here I really enjoyed doing a couple on that stencil so now these are some leaf stencils which I did cover in that video as well well I got these gifted to me when I first started my faux finishing business so I don't know the brand I got six different designs and I really wish I knew the brand but I got them all loose they were used from a friend of mine who was done with her supplies and she gave them to me so um, this one I just did a tiny bit of line work on this leaf and I love how that looks I think it gives it just that extra little graphic touch to it so there's that now here is a piece of that chiseled edge uh, alcohol ink pen that we did in the first mark making video and if you did not see that I go over this style in depth and it is so fun and so addicting but on this one I wanted to show you that when you go on top of the in this case it's alcohol ink pens if you're using pretty much any kind of pen um, you're little ballpoint colored pens are gonna go on top of your pen work beautifully now I've had the same problems with these pens over painted surfaces it just doesn't always work a lot of times I have to turn to paint to be able to accomplish that and you can't always get the fine lines with paint that you can get with pens so here's an example of being able to really get colorful with your designs very easy to do now this is another sample of that scribbled style flower that I love so much and I just think it's such a neat fun little way to mark make on top of your stencil designs so there's that one and then I've got a couple here that I want to play around with with you. Let me bring you back and show you this whole thing. There's the whole piece. Now, this was a mistake on my part. I painted this little flower here with some very light, light beige, creamy colored paint. And the coffee stain background was so light that it barely showed up. So I went ahead and scribbled around the petals and then added these weird little growth things coming out, these little sprouts. And I'm not a huge fan of this. I love the little sprouts they're my favorite but um you know it's just you do a lot of artwork you're gonna do stuff sometimes that you don't you're not in love with and it's totally cool because you learn you know everything that I've done that I haven't totally loved I've learned valuable lessons from so here's this other cute little sprout of a flower it almost looks like a little firework explosion and I went ahead and put some different little mark making designs in it and then I 
got locked in again like I tend to do when I mark making and I did the scribble on this one and I did the scribble on this one it's really fun to do the scribble so I just want to do one with you real quick right here in real time and by real quick I do mean it this goes so fast so I'm working on getting another camera angle set up so bear with me I do realize that some Sometimes I block the camera with this uh, style of filming. So I am always working to improve my videos so that you'll have a better experience. But look at this. I just go one, two. Now my pen's kind of, this, this Signo Uniball, as you know, with your gel pens, you've got to be straight up and down with these things or they just don't like to cooperate. But look at how fast. If you wanted to do a bunch of flowers for a junk journal, or let's say you wanted to do a scribbly flowered um, border in a bedroom, you could do this. And let's say you were using a bigger flower stencil for a bigger design, you could always paint these scribbles on with a script liner because of course pens don't really work as well on walls as we know. So I'm just coming in here and throwing in a couple lines on these little guys that are going off the page here this is such a it, it, th this kind of mark making and this kind of artwork is very therapeutic and really relaxing and healing to me and you get you also get the satisfaction of instant gratification look at how fast we pulled that flower together and if you check your stash i bet you could come up with some really amazing flower and leaf stencils of your own that you already have so this one i'm just going to do that same lining style that i showed you on the last one I think it's really neat. Sometimes less is more with certain stencils and you're always having to, the thing I love about this is it really gets you to focus on scale. It gets you to focus on balance. It gets you to focus on, you know, do you want it tight and in the lines like I'm doing right now? Or do you want it loose and scribbly, scribbly like we just did the flower? So you have choices and this is great warm-up too for mark making because it gets your hand acclimated to the movements and it gets you just really ready to do a lot of mark making sometimes when I first start out and if I've just had a bunch of coffee in the morning I like to do the scribbly loose stuff because it gives me the freedom to um, if my work doesn't come out perfect it still looks great because the scribbles can be so intentional so you know this is I'm I will warn you this is another art form that is very addictive just like the first one uh, the first one I've had such a great time with and again you'll tend to get locked in to a certain style and that's okay it this is an a, it's really a journey about learning about yourself as an artist and and learning what your tendencies are <laughs> what your tendencies are thank you and uh, what what direction you tend to like feel like you're forced to go because when you start mark making we really do kind of we get in this groove and we stay in this groove and then we have to kind of push ourselves to get out of that little kind of ditch that we've drawn ourselves into and try something different so there's so many 
um, advantages to mark making and, and building motor skills and having just the therapy aspect of it. You know, there's so much. It's hard for me to articulate all the amazing things that can happen with mark making, but stencils help to get you out of some of those little grooves that we tend to find ourselves in because it gives you a different design. It gives gives you different lines. It gives you a whole different way of looking at, okay, here's how much space I have to work with. What can I do inside this space? I like these little scribbly lines. They don't always go great because sometimes they become too busy for a design, but Often they look really beautiful. They look amazing on the chiseled edge pens for sure. So you can just keep going and going with this. And um, you can have conversations with your family while you're doing this. You can watch TV. You can do a lot of things. You can interact and do different things while you're doing this. I don't always have that option depending on what's going on in my life. I don't always want to fill all these either, but I'll tell you what's really, really revealing to me about this technique. I, and, and being a faux finisher, this was really apparent in my faux finishing and it worked for me, but it also really worked against me in a lot of ways. I have this drive towards uniformity where I'm like, oh, I have to have, everything's got to be uniform and precise and balanced just perfectly and as a free form abstract artist that can really hinder um, what you're trying to accomplish you know that can get in your way big time now if you're working doing precise stuff it's perfect because it's a natural uh, flow for you to go ahead and do that but um, I've really had to break myself out of that tendency to do that so see how this stencil is just giving me the opportunity to really change things up and do things differently now for this design I did decide that I wanted to stay in the lines um, more than being, I, you know, lots of times I like to come outside of the lines and really make a mess of things. And that has such a beautiful look too. And I did a lot of that in, you know, I took it to another video. I did the first one where we did the chiseled edge mark making, and then I made a bunch of pages and I discovered other things along the way. And so I made another video and I really, I, I did some samples where I stayed completely inside the lines and then I made other samples where I totally got wild and went outside and both ways look so awesome and different and unique. So uh, I was able to explore that. I'll just go ahead and link the stencil like a pro and the two mark making with chiseled edge pens below so that you can access them easily. And then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've already been on that journey with me, you're probably addicted to doing mark making with your alcohol ink pens. At least I hope you're partaking in this fun. So now something I always do is I did this scribbled line down here. So I added another one up here because it, whenever you add, and we hear this a million and one times, everywhere we go, we hear it. If you want your art to look balanced, make sure and add the same elements in more than one place. And it's so, so true. It is a rule to follow to help you as an artist to improve and it gives that you know it, it gives that sense of balance and conformity that need for conformity to the viewer that's looking at your artwork so 
there's a lot of wisdom behind that little piece of advice to put um, put elements in more than one single place. So now I've kind of filled up these other little lines and I have a tendency to just want to do one big line down the middle of this. So I'm going to let myself have that, but it's going to be out of character of the rest, but it's okay. Look, there's so much balance. Actually, it's really not out of character. It's all the wide ones I did more than one line. And then the narrow ones, I just did one line. So it looks fine. So forget what I said a second ago. It doesn't even count, okay? It doesn't count. There we go. Okay, so here's this piece done now. And look at the dynamic change between how solid this was and how it looks now with this mark making. So I did this crazy little feather I want to show you. I did this off camera just playing around. And you know, these stenciled feathers, you can make a ton of these very quick and put them on a painted background like I did and go wide with your patterning and today we're just playing around with pens wait till we start playing around with paint because we're going to be playing around with paint as well so stick around and make sure you subscribe for that so here's our cute little leaf we did and here's our little flowers that we did all wild and crazy. And here's some more scribbled flowers. Now, this one I did do with the black pen and I really love the contrast of the cream colored paint and the really pale blue paint and the black scribbles. So you, there's so many directions. It's just blows my mind how endless the directions are. And then here's the beautiful little colored one we did. So using colored pens, oh, such another option, so much fun. And then here's that other first leaf sample that I showed you. And you know, when you've catch yourself getting locked in just try to force yourself to make a different mark and to turn a different corner and you know what I, I I guide you to do the same thing in different areas and that's really great artistic advice but if you're inclined to make every area different and make sure that none of them are the same, that can be an amazing look too. Let yourself be free. Just take off the reins and go wild and let yourself just have a great time with this. That's what this is for, for me. This is for therapy, it's for healing, it's for expanding my artistic toolbox, it's for helping me to feel good. I always turn to art to solve problems in my life, and it may not solve a problem directly, but it sure does help me to feel better, and I'm sure you can relate, or you wouldn't be here right you just wouldn't even be here if that wasn't the case so I am so glad we're on this journey together and make sure and hit like and subscribe it helps me a bunch plus we're going to be doing amazing mark making stuff I bought all those uh, really cool tools at Hobby Lobby I put out that little video on mark making tools so I am in the process of filming videos with those new tools now so come on back and see me and take care and have an excellent day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.